I'll be sharing with you today how actors and in fact filmmakers can leverage on social media to win roles or get uh, get working gigs. And um, before I, I move on to the five important ways you can use social media, let me quickly say this. Social media has become an integral part of our body, it has become an integral part of our lives, it has become an integral part of our industry. Of course, you already know that the industry is something that has to do with the show business. It's, it has to be first and foremost a show before you talk about the business. So, and then the combination of the two is what makes it a show business, is what makes it an entertainment business. So people want to see you, people want to view you, people want to know where you are, people want to know what is happening around in, and in your life all the time. So I would say that social media is here to stay and you must start thinking about how you as an actor can leverage on it there are two important reasons why every actor needs to be on social media not just be on social media but be very very active on social media as well as every other filmmaker whether you're a filmmaker or you're an actor there are two major reasons why you must be active on your social media the number one is that the public perception matters all right Public perception is everything. People now get to know who you are even before they get to work with you. People, your popularity, whether you are building audience or you're building brand or you're targeting to get other people to hire you, you must be active on social media because they need to see what you have done, what you are currently doing and what you intend to do. And that is what will inform anybody who wants to hire you to hire you. The number two is that whether we like it or not, a lot of people now hire people based on their popularity on social media. It's, it's a fact. In fact, there is a research that says that most people now cast people with 7% of their acting abilities. The rest are majorly what's their presence on social media because both production companies and every other brand, every director, every producer wants somebody that has large followership on social media so that he can promote his or her films. So these two important reasons should be able to inspire you to become very active on social media if you're not active. And I don't mean to pick one over another. Try and be active across all the trending social media, be it Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and even TikTok, the new TikTok. Make sure that you are active, all right? So those two important reasons. One being that every producer wants somebody that is popular, that has followership, that has audience that can that the person can help him or her to sell or to market his or her brand so people now look out for whether you have good followership online on your social media before they can even hire you and second one being that public perception is everything so if you want to get a, if you want to understand why please look at those two important factors i have mentioned let's quickly move to five important ways that an actor or even a filmmaker can leverage on social media to win the next role or win the next acting gigs. The very first one is create video content. Whether if you're an actor, everybody wants to see you act. So you don't need to wait until you get that big opportunity to be to be on a big screen for you to start acting. In fact, some actors that their acting career had died, quote and unquote, okay, um, currently now engage more on skits. There are also so many people who are doing skits who have, because of the skits they were doing, started getting more acting jobs. So, you must have to start creating video content. Make sure that, at least, make it as a point of duty that every week you make one video content. Whether it is skits, whether it is uh, whatever you want to do, but make sure that you create a video content. Make sure that you create something that people can see you and see your you know trying out different roles at different times that is what you call monologue but for me i say make sure that you engage in video uh productions you can use your cell phone to shoot yourself and if you want to act with another person you can get your friends around and act with them what is important is that you are constantly putting out your work out there people are constantly seeing you you are tagging the big producers you are tagging the big directors they may not respond when you tag them but they will definitely see it now when you post it for instance on instagram and tag somebody like me as a director and producer i will look at it if you are fantastic i might even comment 
I may not hire you immediately, but the honest truth is, if I have any script that will warrant me to hire somebody that, and I feel that you can fit in, I will always remember. So if you think you can, if, if you want to start getting acting gigs, and as I advise actors, I'm also advising filmmakers. If you're a filmmaker, you need to start putting out, even if it is a one minute film that you have done or that you have participated, either you are, a, a, whatever thing that you are doing in the industry, you should be able to start doing rather than saying because a lot of people have this attitude of i can do i can do all the time meanwhile they've not even done anything so as an actor start putting out video content as a, a cinematographer director whatever you are as a writer just make sure that your work gets out there start creating video content number two is be involved in other people's content make sure that it's not just your own content that you are getting involved in Anybody that is shooting a skit, get yourself involved. Remember that the primary goal is that you want to put yourself out there. You want people to see you. You want people to know you. You want people to get to see what you can do. So while you are leveraging on your own content to build your own platform, the friends or the people that you are getting involved in their gigs, in their works, are also posting on their own platforms and then they are tagging you. So it's also improving your social media presence and it's making more and more people to know that you exist. All right. So volunteer, make sure that you get, get involved in as much content online as possible. The more content you show, the better because more people will get to see you so volunteer to work with others work with friends work with fellow actors work with filmmakers those who want to do skits those who want to do short videos those who want to do short films volunteer so the most important thing is that you are putting yourself out there you may not know the impact you may not know the effect and that's what i take creatives it's not always money is important but the platform is more important platform is more important so while you are building platform note that you may not be making money but you are building that platform because you have that anticipation you know that one day that platform will begin to pay you so whereas i said that the number one is you producing your own video content short content short videos short skits whatever you call it and the second one being that you working with other people make sure that it is not just your own you are also volunteering and you're working with other people number three is recreating content you may see some online contents that are trending Let's say, for instance, there is a movie that has been released and that movie is trending and a lot of people are talking about that movie. If I were you as an actor, what I would do is to go and see that movie. After seeing that movie, try and get one or two most popular scenes in that movie and recreate it. What I will do for you is that people will get to see how you would have even played it if you are the one in that role. It may be a superstar that played it, but if you deliver that scene better off, that, that is more like mimicking the person. It's more like acting what the person has done in your own way. Let me give you a typical example. Ikorodu boys are doing this and right now they are getting... I mean, everybody is talking about them. From the, from the who is who in Hollywood, even Netflix is retweeting their, their contents. That's to show you how good these guys are. And you can do that as well. You can live right on it. What they do is that they look out for movies, they look out for, for trailers that are very popular, of movies that are very popular, and then they recreate it. You two should start recreating. If it is acting, whatever thing you are doing, recreate. If you're a filmmaker and you're looking for, for people to look your way, recreate things. Recreate what has been created before. Recreate it in your own way. Recreate it in your own uniqueness. If you're an actor, recreate scenes, recreate actors recreate scenarios in in popular films in popular skits in popular content the more and more you recreate people will begin to pay attention that is if you're a good actor once you because if you're not a good actor and you recreate people will be like people will laugh it up because they will think you are you are you are spoiling the film or you are spoiling the scene so if you think you are daring enough and you can do it and you can deliver and you are very 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 good then recreate it is one of the ways that will call attention to you is one of the ways certain way that directors and producers will begin to look your way because if a pop if i do a film and you look at some of the scenes i've done and then you recreate what a star did for me and you are better off or i see your acting skills and they are better than what the star that i hired you know did for me i will begin to look at you pro properly i'll begin to look at you critically so recreate things it will help you to grow 
and then make sure you post them on social media remember that what we're discussing is uh, ways that you can leverage on social media for you to grow so when you finish recreating don't just put it in your in your cupboard or put it in your phone and be carrying that around be bold enough to post it on your social media and let people see you okay then my number four is share your content across blogs and websites if you have friends or you have colleagues you have people who are running entertainment blogs or all manner of blogs share your contents to them give them your contents to let them write about you all right the more they write about you you copy those links and post it on your social media handles people will begin to pay attention because nobody really even some people some producers and directors they don't go researching maybe the authenticity of, of blogs or whatever they just they just see you if, if, if they continue to see you more and more posting more and more contents more and more of your content from diverse links it will begin to give authenticity and authority to you as as an actor or as a filmmaker so those contents that you have if you have friends if you have people if you have even if you don't have friends that run blogs there are a thousand and one blogs across nigeria that are seeking for that are seeking for contents all right you can send to them and say look hey look at what i'm doing right now can you write about me or share uh, share my story on your blog if you reach out to them on, on social media if you reach out to them on linkedin reach out to them on instagram reach out to them all those blog owners i'm sure that if you reach out to like a hundred at least 10 percent or 20 percent will get back to you and then out of that 10 or 20 percent that will get back to you maybe five percent maybe seven percent will publish your story and that is one of the ways to begin to get more and more into people's faces listen what is important is that you must you must be on people's faces all the time if you really want to build a brand as an actor as an upcoming actor who's looking for a way that's one of the ways to leverage your social media on so don't just go to social media because you want to chat don't just go to social media because you want to gossip don't just go to social media because you want to look around and look for story to talk about no use your social media judiciously use it to reach people that are key stakeholders in the industry maybe bloggers whatever share your stories with them share your content with them let them publish it and then you can share the links on your social media make sure that you share for others because the more you share for others the more likely others are going to share for you when it comes out so it's all about networking it's all about getting together the last one on my bucket list for actors and filmmakers alike on how to leverage social media to be able to get the next role that they are wishing for is go live all right um imagine if you if you have a group of friends that you are acting with and you put it on instagram live or you put it on facebook live or you put it on just go live so people know that it's not your acting is not dependent on how much edited copies you have that you can actually act for real now when you go live remember it's going to trigger all your friends Gradually, it will trigger all, if it is on Instagram, uh, Facebook, whatever place you go live, it's going to send messages across to all your friends and let them know. Imagine, for instance, that maybe you have over 5,000 friends on Facebook and you go live and out of that 5,000 friends, let's say even 1,000 joined. You know, people will be joining and leaving. But if what you are doing is good enough, people will stay back. All right. So create scenarios, create opportunities to go live. All right. Even if you are not going to act, if you're just going to be talking about yourself or a one-man show, however it's going to be, go live. Going live will give authenticity to your act. Going live will mean that you don't need edited, you know, edited clips for you to show that you can really act. Going live will also support the claim that you're a good actor because people are going to watch you live, just like the same way they're going to, just like the same way we go to theaters to watch live theaters, all right? Live, live performances on theater. So going live will also train you better because you don't have an opportunity to edit it. So you have to prepare well before you go live. And in the process of preparing well, you're also building your acting skills. You're also building your acting career, all right? So that will be my last point. If you have any questions as to what you can do more to leverage on social media, please put the question on the comment section below and make sure please that you subscribe. If you think that this program or the contents I'll be sharing on this channel is good and you will love it, subscribe and click the notification button so that you will know when my next video drops. I drop a video, at least one video 
every week on this very channel and it borders on creativity creatives discovering people discovering talent and all whatnot there is a lot and lot and lot more that i'm going to be sharing on this very channel so please make sure that you subscribe subscribe and click the notification button all right so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like it please tell me why you don't like it and if you have other ideas that people can actually use to leverage uh, social media for them to be able to be known and to win the next role please also share on the comment section below and i'll be so grateful that we did thank you very much see you next week bye bye